Hi everyone, I'm Robin inside your Great Lakes Science Center. For the health and safety of our guests, partners, and staff, we are closed. But as your Northeast Ohio STEM HQ, we are committed to providing you engaging science content and interactive experiences. Welcome to Curiosity Corner Live. Our new daily science show tailored to kids at home and parents looking to keep their kids sharp while on break from school. Mark your calendars. Starting Monday, every day at 10.30 a.m., we're going to bring you live interactive science videos. You can look forward to design challenges, behind the scenes tours, at home experiences, and so much more only at Curiosity Corner Live. Let's get started. Today, I'm bringing you two of my favorite best of the big science shows. We're gonna be exploring chemical reactions and physical reactions. And it might just end with a little bit of an, ex it's definitely gonna end with an explosion. Let's get started. So, follow me. Inside this beaker, I have a chemical, and this chemical is called a catalyst. A catalyst is a chemical when introduced into a solution speeds up a chemical reaction. But if you look a little bit more closely, I have a giant flask, and in the bottom of the flask is another liquid. That liquid is a very strong solution of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is two hydrogens and two oxygens, or H2O2. They're bonded together, but it's not the most stable. Those oxygens want to break apart and form oxygen or H2O, something you might know, water. When I add to this catalyst, because I added some soap, we're going to see a really fun, foamy chemical reaction. Are you ready? All right, everybody, we're going to do this in three, two, one. Wow, look at that. Now, you might notice that in addition to all of these bubbles, it's steaming. This is an exothermic reaction. So when those chemicals reacted, it released heat. It's getting steamy in here. So this is an example of a chemical reaction. We've taken those chemical bonds, we've broken them, and they've rearranged themselves into other more stable chemicals. But what's a physical change? Well, in order to do that, we're gonna get things a little bit cooler over here. So let me pack this up out of the way. And I'm going to bring out another chemical, something that you also might be familiar with. It's nitrogen. Now, if you're at home, everybody take a deep, deep breath in. <gasps> your lungs when you breathe in is a lot of different gases and one of those gases is nitrogen gas about 78 percent of the air that you breathe is made up of nitrogen nitrogen as a gas has a lot of energy those molecules are bouncing all over the place but if we restrict the movement they slow down they get closer and closer together and we get liquid nitrogen now nitrogen is a liquid at roughly 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So I have to add a lot of extra spe special safety equipment in order to keep me safe. Let me introduce you to the star of the show, liquid nitrogen. Now we notice a very similar effect, but unlike the steam that we saw in our chemical reaction, this is actually fog. There's water vapor in the air, and as that water vapor gets cool, it condenses and turns into those little clouds. But look, they already disappeared. It's back into the gaseous form, and that's a physical reaction. But we want to speed this process up. So I'm going to add into my trash can a little bit of hot water. Remember, liquid nitrogen is really, really cold. And if we add it into a little bit of hot water, it takes that liquid, gives the molecules more energy, and they start to move around a lot faster. Now, 
Remember early on when I said that it's going to get a little bit explosive? This is where that starts. Because what I want to do is trap some of that liquid nitrogen inside a bottle. And as it goes from a liquid to a gas, it takes up way more space. Let's do this. All right. Now remember, I am a trained professional, so you can do science at home as well, but make sure when you are doing your science experiments that you follow all of the safety guidelines. I think that's enough. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to put a cap on the bottle of liquid nitrogen, put the bottle of liquid nitrogen into the trash can, put a whole bunch of col colorful polymer balls on top of it, and then get out of the way. Let's see what happens. As your STEM HQ, check in every day at 10.30 a.m. starting Monday for Curiosity Corner Live. And remember, stay curious.